let's look at this problem. Uh, so I've got two forces, a 700 newton force in that direction, a 560 newton force in that direction, and I want to determine the magnitude. We'll worry about corner direction angles later, but I want to find the resultant force. I want to add those vectors together. All right. Well, in order to add them together, I need to break them into their components so that I can add the components together. And so in order to break them up into their components, I need to think about, okay, how can I break these up into their components? I don't see any angles, but I do see dimensions. So if I see dimensions and I want to break something into its components, I think F equals FU and U is R over R and R is how far does it go? All right, let's start with this FB right here, this 700 Newton force, FB is magnitude 700 newtons and then r over r so let me look at this let me look at the whole line of action right r over r r is how far does it go how far does it go in the x direction be careful not to get x and y switched up how far does this go in the x direction that would be this distance right here that would be two in the i uh, it would be it goes back negative three in the j and I'm going down 6 in the K. And if I did 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared and took the square root of that, I would actually get 7. Works out pretty uh, nicely. All right, so then I can multiply this through. And I would get 200 in the I minus 300 in the J minus 600 um, in the K. Units were uh, Newtons. All right, let me put a star by that and come back to that. Now it won't always uh, come out so so nicely right here. Why does it come out so nicely? Because the hypotenuse was 7 and the magnitude was 700. Alright, what about this other one? FC. Well, it's dimension, so F equals FU. Uh, its magnitude was 560 and it's R. Alright, so for this one, how far does that line of action go in the X direction? All right, be careful. Here's the x-axis. That's how far? 3 in the i. How far does it go in the y? Plus 2 in the j. How far does it go in the k? It goes down 6 in the k. And a squared plus b squared plus c squared, take the square root. Um, I would actually get 7 still. You know, 2, 3, 6, two, 3, 2, 6. Uh, this has the same um, hypotenuse. All right, so there's my r. And so this one written in its component form would be 240 in the I plus 160 in the J minus 480 in the K. Units are Newtons. I'm oh, sorry, let me not box that in. Uh, let me put a star by that. I want the resultant. Resultant means you add them together. So I can add them together. How do you add them together? Well, you add up the I's together and leave those as your I component. You add up the J's together. Leave that, that'll be your J component. You add up the K's together, that'll be your K component. You can add I's together, you can add J's together, you can add K's together, but don't try to add an I plus a J. Don't try to combine an I with a J. Leave them in their uh, component form. So the resultant would be 440 in the I minus 140 in the J minus 1080 in the K. Units are Newtons. That's the resultant but it wants the magnitude of the resultant. All right, so what's the magnitude of that? All right, now, so do you notice that I was told these magnitudes, but I don't know the magnitude of the resultant, and I can't really get those exactly from right there, so I really need to, in this case, need to do 440 squared, 140 squared, 1080 squared, take the square root, the magnitude would be 1175 Newtons. That is the magnitude of the resultant. And what are its corner direction angles? Corner direction angles, I'm going to think R equals RU. And I know that's 1175. I know that's all that written in components. Let me find the U. All right, so 440 in the I, minus 140 in the J, minus 1080 in the K, equals 1175 times cosine alpha i plus cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. All right, so the i's, 440 
equals 1175 cosine alpha. I would get alpha 68 degrees. Uh, J, negative 140. Don't forget these negatives. You know, take those into account. Negative 140 equals 1175 cosine beta. Beta is 96.8. And K, 1080, negative 1080 equals 1175 cosine gamma. Gamma equals 157 degrees. Check that those make sense. My negative components gave me angles that were greater than 90 degrees. Um, this angle is is kind of kind of close to 90 degrees, ah, because it was the smallest. Because it was the smallest, the largest one is pretty far away from 90 degrees. So there's just a few things you can check uh, to to make sure your answer makes sense.